Hello, welcome Solix Nation. Last week we announced the coolest sale. Yes, it is a get something for free, right? Buy two, get the third for free. And so we have these items in your back office available and at enrollment. If you buy two, get of the same item. Of the same item, you'll mm -hmm. get the third for free. Yes. But you have to look for the specific item that is the buy two, get one free. It has a little sticker on it, right? Yeah, it has a little stamp next to it that says buy two, get one free. And so look for those stamps. If you just put two items, two bottles of blue in your cart, you won't receive a third one for free unless you chose the buy two, get one free uh, in your back office. Yeah, well, and speaking of that, I think they can do this as many times as they'd like. Yes, right? absolutely. So you can get the buy two, get one free. Yes. 10 times. And it goes for everything except for the scanner subscription and yes. Solix University, but you can get a mat, buy two mats, get one free. You can buy two wands, get one free. Yeah. But detox, it goes for everything. Yeah. So it's blue. a pretty awesome yeah. sale. Pulse, hey, all speaking of blue. Speaking of blue. <laughs> all right, also in August, the enrollment is, if you enroll somebody with a bundle and a subscription, that person will get our amazing methylene blue product. Yes. It's called Blue. Yep. It does a great job with that redox function, helping get the electron in the ATP process. I'm already giving you too much information. If you know anything you about- You never do that. I never do that. If you know anything about methylene blue, it, you know that it's a powerful tool. If you don't, there's a lot of information out there. It's worth uh, getting educated on because it is helpful mm -hmm. throughout the body. Just the cell function as a whole, getting given energy and helping it function. Will it turn your mouth blue? Yes. yes. Can you put it into other drinks to not turn your mouth blue? Yes. yes. <laughs> Just so you know. Also, a, a little side note on blue, uh, people have found that when they, when they squirt blue into their mouth and then they brush their teeth right after, they're getting a whitening effect on their teeth. So that's kind of another bonus. That is, that, that's a total bonus. Yeah. I mean, we don't, claim it and we won't claim it as a tooth whitener. But. Oh, see the lawyer and him just told me to not say that. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't claim that as a tooth whitener. I'm just saying uh, some experiences S I've heard. Yeah, this anecdotal <laughs> stuff, right? No, I love that. That's yeah. great. You know what we're on the doorstep of as well is the Day of Discovery. And yeah. if you haven't heard yet, the Day of Discovery is totally sold out. Uh, we do have a lot of people uh, buying, exchanging, had extra tickets, things mm -hmm. like that. Uh, one thing we want to make sure we made this announcement last week, if you are transferring a ticket to a new person, we need to make sure that we have that documented correctly. So what we're asking you is to send an email into support, support at solexllc.com with uh, you know ticket change or ticket transfer in the subject line and have your name, who owns the ticket, and then the name and ID of the person you're transferring the ticket to. That way we can effectively move that, all our reports, all of our registration packets, hopefully get updated the right way it's with that information. It's critical that we have that information. So please, it's just me me emailing support. I am Shelby Larson. I transferred my ticket to Kai Larson. It's that easy, yeah. but we just need that in writing. So please take care of that if you have sold your ticket. All right, we have a license plate this week. We had five license plates last week, one this week. We just keep getting rolling them in. I yeah. love it so much. Okay, let's take a look at this one. This is Carol Basmeni. I hope I said that right, from Indiana. And she did Solex 9. So um, I think customer support told me that Carol said that she went for Solex and Solex 1 and Solex 2 and they were all taken. And so wow. she went for Solex 9. Yeah, I like that. Yes, yeah, way to be creative. She's getting ahead of the pack. Yes, right? yes. She I is. Love that. And, then, right. and the number nine. Also, That's right. So, Carol, yeah. we'll send you a, a Solex Silver Coin, and you are now part of the Legacy Group. Congratulations. We had a contest last week. Yes, we did. We talked about actually AO Tune, and you know, people loved that call last night with Dr. Daryl. Yes. Last yeah, night, yeah. last week. Yeah, he was great. He is great. <laughs> he is great. He's yeah. a wealth of knowledge. We loved having him here and then spending a couple of days with us. Yeah, he, was, he for sure is a wealth of knowledge. He has an expertise. And so, uh, but we asked people to comment how they use AO Tune, right? Yeah, how do you use AO Tune? And guess what we're gonna send you? AO Tune. That's why we have so many You can never have too many AO Tunes. <laughs> All right, let's mix them up. We have a lot, you guys. All right, let's mix them up and get the first one. Ooh, it's a big one. Sue Pine. AO Tune is such a great addition to our scanners. I use it every morning as a part of my morning routine. After the easy scan, I check for the Cephe dots I need that day, and then I use the AO Tune scan feature and use the three options that come up when I scan. The things that come up more often uh, than not correlate with the other scans from the morning. I will also use specific scans, such as lungs, if it has come up on easy scan or if allergies are trying to be a problem. 
There are so many great options that it's hard sometimes to set them down and move on with the day. That was awesome information. Yeah. She just shared exactly what she does step by step and how she, I don't know if anyone uses AO Tune so uh, thoroughly like that. Yeah, well, we, we might find We out. might find more, but Sue, <laughs> yeah. great job. We will send yeah. you some more AO Skin Consistors. Yeah, yeah. AO Tune. What did I say? AO Skin. Holy moly. <laughs> All right, next one, Stephanie Horak, I think that is. Yeah. All right, I have a one physical tuning fork and I found it fascinating how it impacts the body. When AO Tune was added, I was thrilled to see the extent of options for using these frequencies. I love and trust the scan option to see what my body's calling for and I'm just starting to dive into deeper knowledge. I love this presentation. Great job. Yep. I mean, that's the that's the process. Love that you trusted us enough to jump into the tuning force yes. and now have the opportunity, obviously, to gain depth in your education and information. I yep. love that. I love that too. Everyone's making me want to use AO Tune more. I don't use it enough. Yeah. Telling me why I should. Okay, last one. I got two. Oh. Wise woman in the woods. Give us a call. Let us know who you are. I was having a family gathering. I was using the AO Tune to help with the anxiety and grief of the loss of my mom. Oh. My nieces were so excited to feel the relief in their heart chakra after just a few minutes of playing the tones. Yeah, it's awesome. Wow, well that Great just yeah. hits you right there. Well, we're gonna give you some more AO Tunes, maybe that's you right. can share those with your, with your sheep. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. With your family, that's great. All right, congratulations to the three of you and thanks to everyone who uh, submitted their experiences with AO Tune. They were really fun to read. Now we had a, our top and rollers. Yes, our top as and rollers. we round out the beginning of this call anyways. That's right. So from August 12th to the 18th, we had some ties. Of course for we both have ties. First and second place. Oh, so, really? Okay, yeah. good. So starting with second place, our tie for second place was Stephanie Tora. Stephanie Tornatori. Hope I said that yeah, right. Yeah, Tornatori, Tornatori. That's awesome. That, I love that name. And Troy Shelton as well. Tammy Bradley. And Christine Baker. Great job. Congratulations, everyone. And we also had a tie for first place. First goes to Sid McNary. And Christy Clarkson. Sid and Christy, great job. Congratulations. Both of you will be getting a Solix Silver Coin. If you're not in the Legacy Group already, that means you're part of the Legacy Group right now. So great job. Well done. Good job, everyone. All right, let's move on to the rest of the call. About four years ago, my husband and I had made a plan to be able to go back on the road full time. And we wasn't sure what that was going to look like. Um, but as time went by, I had manifested, I was at a holistic health retreat at Brian's Head here in Utah. Um, and my mentor asked us to stand up and tell what our aspirations in life were going to be, what our goals were, what our... Um, ultimate thing that we wanted to do in life. Well, as I started to share about the AO scan and the frequency, something that I didn't know anything about, but I quickly found that it had an opportunity for so many people, um, including myself. It absolutely helped me save my life. And at that retreat, I basically said, I would like for my husband to stop work where he currently worked, which he'd been at this job for 13 years, and joined me alongside me doing this work, sharing the AO scan, the technology, and everything that it had to offer to everybody that we meet. Well, I did, I've been very successful on Facebook. I've built a very strong business, a very strong organization in Solex. And I thought, how can I reach more people? So at that event, I stood up and I said, I want my husband to join me and I wanna go full time on the road. I wanna go and I wanna meet people. And I wanna share this technology with people that may not be even on Facebook. So I manifested that. My husband did quit his job. It's been, a, it'll be two years this coming September and in March of this year, we sold our home of 13 years. We sold a lot of the contents in our home, 
and we paid cash for a Class A diesel motorhome so that we could travel North America, including Canada and Mexico, and share this technology with everybody that I meet. That also includes doing the thermography. Um, I have the thermography unit, and now I'm being called to all these different practitioners. They want me to come and educate them more about the AO scanner. They have it as well, but they don't quite know all, all that they can about it. They want me to come and educate. They want me to come and offer thermography to their clients. So we started our journey coming to this retreat. This was our first voyage. Um, we came to Utah, and so far, just meeting the people in the RV community and connecting with those people. There are so many in that community that are looking for side gigs, things to help other people with, and I'm just so excited to be able to be a part of that and maybe spread this far and wide to people that may not know anything about the AO scan or frequencies for that matter. Um, we're so excited because um, just coming here, we've been able to connect with several people in the, the actual RV uh, campground. And they're like, what do you do? Because I have also made a YouTube channel. Um, our, our RV is called the Wandering Wellness Wagon. And my little slogan that I have put on the back of my car, because my car is in tow behind the motorhome, is the Wandering Wellness Wagon. We are touring North America so that we can bring bioresonance frequency as well as thermography to a city or town near you. And it has already gotten a lot of looks. A lot of people have phoned and asked, what are you doing? I want a part of this. So... This, this is going to be something bigger than me than I can already see. And I just want to, I just want to spread this far and wide. So, um, our next stop after the retreat is we're going to be going down to San Antonio, Texas, and we're going to be doing some thermography there, uh, at an event, seeing the befores and the afters of this modality called Mudwise. So we're going to do that. And then after that, I go a little bit further to Mineola, Texas. I've got two practitioners that are on our team that want me to come and do thermography there, plus AO scan training. So it's going to be an incredible opportunity to spread this far and wide. And the fact that I've been able to do this with some financial freedom is just the plus. So um, this year I hit over 100,000 just with the company, and that is such a beautiful blessing. This is what has been able to afford us to sell our home and fulfill our dream, to travel North America far and wide and take this to everybody that we meet. So that, that my story, that is what I want to share with those. If you're looking for something that will give you some financial freedom, also the best health of your life, check into Solex, check into what they have, what they have to offer, because this has been an incredible game changer for our family. You've got the questions and we, or Jen, Jen has the answers. We're gonna try. <laughs> so we'll just start uh, with an easy one. We'll throw you a softball, because you've played softball. I played before. softball. Yeah, yeah. And you never struck out. Never. Never had that long walk to the dugout. Never. After a strikeout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first one. Uh, is AO scan grounding the same as earth grounding? Wow, that's a great question. So AO scan grounding is really more about energetic grounding, whereas earth grounding is gonna be an electrical grounding. So yes, they're both grounding, but they're grounding the body in two very different ways. But you can use the AO scan grounding and add a couple of uh, pieces like the, the Cybin uh, shoe insoles or even the Cybin bracelets to create an electrical grounding while you do your AO scan grounding. Okay, well, electrical, what does is, what is electrical mean? Electrical means that there's actual electrical impulses coming from an area. Okay. So when you're standing on the earth, you're getting electrical impulses from the ground. Or when you're at the ocean, you're getting electrical impulses from nature. 
from okay. even from the negative ions coming from the water. But when you do the AO scan grounding, you're getting more of the energetic grounding piece for the body to be able to still ground the body, but again, it's not that electrical pulse. I have homeopathic pellets. Can we program more than one frequency in a bottle? Homeopathic pellets, yes. More than one frequency can be added to a pellet. Now, just be mindful about how many you add. You know, some practitioners will say you can add five different frequencies, where other practitioners say you can add up to 30 different frequencies. I think that less is always better when you're talking about giving the body information that you want it to do. So if you're asking it to do something like, I don't know, sleep, uh, you don't want to integrate multiple things in it and then have your body be like, okay, well, this pellet says I need to do 17 different body processes than anything that's just kind of in that line, in that line of sleep. So if you did a, a sucrose pellets container mm -hmm. and you did one thing, does, does the frequency integrity uh, decrease over time or would you just re-imprint a sleep playlist or, you know, you don't want to imprint multiple things that would, um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, so, so the, <clears throat> the sucrose um, uh, little balls, they, they're in, they are designed to be entrained. They're, in de they're designed to be imprinted. So when you imprint these uh, signatures, they should stay for a long period of time. Okay. Now think about things that can draw um, or disrupt frequency, things like your cell phone. So if you take your bottle of um, imprinted pellets and you put them next to a cell phone or next to a microwave or something like that, it is going to pull those frequencies out or disrupt those frequencies. Though that's the time where you need to make sure that you're imprinting. So when you have your bottle imprinted of whatever that medium is, just make sure that it's away from things that steal its energy away from it. When doing inner voice, why do I get two different results when I do two scans back to back? That's because our bodies and cells are changing uh, literally a million times a second. So nothing is ever going to be the same. You don't breathe the same, you don't walk the same, you don't do anything the same in any given second of the day. So when you have a baseline, your body is subjected to a specific frequency, that frequency will entrain the body in such nanoseconds to create a new baseline or a new, uh, a new starting point. So when you add in frequencies again, it's got a whole, it's got a whole different baseline um, that you're working with. Nothing will ever be the same, not ever. So with the baseline then, you're talking about that unique profile of that person, that it is reading and that's a new baseline. Can you explain a little bit, because if, if they're not in the same room and they're not giving a different voice recording, mm -hmm. how can you explain a little bit more about how they're taking a new baseline? Yeah, it's more about not about the person, it's more about the cells in the body. So the cells in your body have been given information and they're acting upon that information faster than we can even comprehend that. So when you have information coming in, and then you also have to, you know, you also have to think about in the, the five seconds or 10 seconds that you had between running those two voice scans, what influences were taken on within the, if, if the person is, physically sitting there right there, or if the person is across the world um, and you're using this through, through quantum frequency. Again, our body is changing so much. There's so much information going on at every given second. So nothing is ever gonna be exactly stable. On my scans, it always says hydration. Drink more water. I drink lots of water, more than needed. So obviously something is holding up absorption. Any ideas on what to do? Okay, so when I think about absorption, I think about hydration, right? The point of hydration is to get water into the cells. And then that, that creates a whole other slew of um, physical things that happen in the body. But water follows salt. So if, if you don't have enough electrolytes in your water or you're not eating an adequate amount of electrolytes within the day, your body may not be able to absorb that water. It also depends on what kind of water you have, because if you're drinking tap water and, uh, and water that's not structured, 
Water in its natural state is clumped together. So it's really hard to get water inside of a cell because when you have a cell, you have a little tiny doorway and vein, if you will, that's called an aquaporin. And an aquaporin is how that water single file lines up into a cell. Once that cell is then opened um, or allows that, that, that hydration to get in, your body will start to detox the things that are stuck inside. So there could be other factors involved too, because if someone has, let's just say too much calcium in their body, they've got some calcification going on and that's hardening of the cells, then that also creates um, a, a pathway that is not readily available for water to be penetrated into a cell. Again, absorption will happen as well. So there's a lot of different factors, but I would suggest starting with some electrolytes, something like gold. Gold has that fulvic and humic acids that will help with the absorption, especially transporting water into a cell. Best thing to use to help with sleep on AOScan. I tried Cephi Insomnia, but not helping. Okay, so when you think about using the Cephi and you're just using one program, that might not be, it might not be related to any of those frequencies. Think about what other internal factors or external factors are happening, right? Is there a Wi-Fi router next to the bed when you're trying to sleep? Uh, you know, have you, were you on your cell phone or were, is there a possibility that you had some um, overwhelm going on prior to getting into bed? Did you have a stressful day? Were you in a fight with someone? Did, you know, was there, was there work things that were happening? So, I, you know, we, I would love to just be able to push a button and have something magical happen. But the truth is, is you have to think about all the other, inf, you know, factors involved. What was the, what was your diet like during that day? Um, what, you know, are there any hormone imbalances happening? Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a lot of variables there when it comes to that. And it might be worth, you know, it might be worth scanning your room um, just to, or clearing this, clearing the energy out of the room with like this, with doing like a space, um, clearing the energy from a room. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Creating a playlist for that. Um, and, and kind of going off of that, w would there be a scan on AOScan to maybe begin trying to investigate what else there could be going on? If the Cephi insomnia playlist may not be working, is there like maybe first step? You know, first step, I would say first step would be to clear a space, right? And how to clear a space is I would make sure that you have created that room. So I would, I would take a photo of that room. And then when you go to a playlist, you can create a playlist for cleaning out the energies of a space. So energetic clearing and then run energetic shield. And maybe even now that we have the option, run EMF shield. Clear those energies out and then maybe even add, um, you could add to that space. So instead of adding the sleep to the individual person, maybe adding a sleep profile to an entire room. So you could add mm -hmm. on to those where you do the clearing, you do the shielding, you do the EMF. Now maybe you go in and do insomnia um, or anything else that your body may be needing. I was hoping to get some insights. These are pretty much the same imbalances and suggestions that come up a lot. And we're looking at uh, it looks like a full inner voice report. Mm -hmm. You've got the four profiles. I would be so grateful if you could maybe use these reports and as example and give me your suggestions of what I should do next when I see this. Any suggestions on playlists, scans, supplements, etc., are greatly appreciated for this newbie so I can start making the most of this. Thanks in advance. And then I love this. If you so, need to look at that report. The truth is, is the information that's provided is truly just information. If you play the playlists and you do nothing else, you're already doing, you're already being proactive. If you want to look deeper into these, I would either take your high tone or your low tone. I would take one of the other. So let's just say, for instance, let's just say we're going to take this, um, this one that's the supportive note of D. So the supportive color would be orange. So I would suggest if the supportive color is orange for that day, really focusing on orange. If you have orange clothing, wear it. If you have the glasses, the colored glasses, wear them. You know, you don't have to wear them all day, but if you could wear them for five or 10 minutes, that, that's adequate. 
The orange um, supports here are warmth, enthusiasm, creativity, encouragement, balance, and ex uh, ex expression and joy. So really it's about creating, uh, you know, an uplifting environment for yourself. Um, when we're looking at the emotions, anxiety, impatience, frustration, are there any areas in your life where you're, where you are experiencing anxiety or frustration or, um, impatience? If you are, it might be worth, you know, journaling on that. It might be worth, um, addressing that maybe meditating, maybe even just like thinking about it and, and either using your words or whatever to, to kind of balance those out. Another thing you could do now is go into mind sync and you can do some creative, uh, Oh, they, playlist there. they've got a creative affirmations list. Creative affirmations. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a couple things. So under vitals, there's um, calcitonin, there's anti-thyroglobulin antibody, and there's vitamin K. So when I think about all three of those, I would be going and running a vital scan and seeing if those are continuing to pop up. So calcitonin can be uh, essentially a calcium shell that's going on in the body. So maybe calcium levels are too high. Um, and the truth is, is vitamin K is known as also MK7, megaquinone, and megaquinone goes in and helps to redistribute calcium throughout the body. So there might be something going on with a little bit of a, a, calci a calcium imbalance um, under the vitals for this particular um, note that's coming up. And then you've got imbalances and suggestions of kidneys, large intestine, and reproductive. So if we think about kidneys, kidneys are um, an area uh, where calcification, um, kidneys create a, a sodium to potassium exchange. So that is where the kidneys can get some high acidity going on, which can be part of calcification as well. So again, I would go run the vital scan and see if kidneys are showing up, if calcium showing up, if any parathyroid might be showing up. Um, and then there's also some over here, hormones or even low back pain. You know, are you, those are some potential causes. Are you getting adequate amount of sleep? And, or um, is there a reason why you might have some lower back pain? You can go in and create playlists on these, but the truth is, is I think, um, you know, as much as we overuse connect the dots, it really is about taking that information and seeing if it's coming up somewhere else as well. And if it is, you can go in and, and kind of start mm -hmm. putting those together and start seeing if maybe there might be something else going on. You know, with MK7, that vitamin K and even calcitonin, you know, our vitamin D, vitamin D with K2 is a great potential support for that. And one last question. I think this was possibly to do with this inner voice report uh, or inner any inner voice report, but it asks thoughts on spleen showing up a lot. Yeah. Okay. So spleen, your spleen is really your immune system. So I would go in and maybe look at, um, on your vital scan, whether or not your spleen is showing up, but also maybe look at like the CBC the, and just see if there's any, um, neutrophils, lymphocytes, uh, or any bacterial viral loads that might be populating that could be creating a little bit of hindrance on your spleen. So your spleen works along with your appendix, which works along with your thymus, which is really all about really supporting your immune system. Well, I think that's all the time we have for questions and answers today, Jen. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I hope you learned a lot today. Again, not all of these have to be exact um, answers. If you have further questions, we look forward to seeing those. So please, um, give us your suggestions, give us your questions, and we'll see you next time with some other answers. You know, there are too many questions. I, I think we could have spent hours upon hours upon hours and yeah. still not gotten through everyone's questions. The great thing about that is we still have more questions to ask people. That's right. And we get to find out more answers and get more ideas. But the th part of that is, as you know, a lot of those questions, when we ask for your questions on some of these calls, everybody can get involved in that. And not only get involved just in seeing what the questions are, but in the opportunity to respond, even in that YouTube session, right? Oh, yeah. Right. So that's that's awesome. But yeah. but Jen did a great job. Thank you so much, uh, Jake. Thanks for helping with the the interview there. Because there are so many things with the AO scan, what what should we have invite people to help us with? 
Well, we want to know what is what are your features in the AOScan that you love the most? What do you use the most? What do you love about AOScan? And you know what? Put the comments, not in this live chat, but after the call is over, we're going to give away one of the OGs. It was our second bracelet. Yeah, it's the Chakra bracelet. We love that one. Uh, and so let's give that, that away to three people next week when we write when we read your answers to what is, what are your favorite parts of the AOScan? You know, if you'll add why it's your favorite part, that yeah. would be kind of cool too. I'd, I'd like to know, I would love to know why, because um, I probably haven't thought the way that you thought about a part of the scanner before. So good to learn from each other. So put those comments in the comments after this call, after this live chat, and we will see you next week. Please take care of that if you have sold your ticket. All right. That, that that's that's really good information. <laughs> we have a license plate this week. <laughs> do you want to see it? I do. Was that so bad? That was terrible. Oh my that was gosh! Terrible. What was that? I, I didn't know what was next. Like but thank you, Jen, for sitting down here and helping us with these. Hopefully, I helped. You know, if if not, please. Well, no, that's our. That, that, that was a bad. What? That, that say that again. Say thanks for. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I think that's all the time we have for question and qu Well, I think that's all the time we have for questions and answers today, Jen. Thanks so much. Absolutely, thank you.